and Elijah, go at once to Zarephath in the region of Sidon and stay there. I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. Remember that. So he went to Zarephath. When he came to the town gate, a widow was there gathering sticks. He called to her and asked, would you bring me a little water in a jar so I may have a drink? And as she was going to get it, he called, and, and bring me, please, a piece of bread. As surely as the Lord your God lives, she replied. I don't have any bread, only a handful of flour in a jar and a little olive oil in a jug. I'm gathering a few sticks to take home and make a meal for myself and my son, that we may eat it and, and die. Elisha said to her, don't be afraid. Go home and do as you have said. But first, make me a small loaf of bread from what you have and bring it to me. And then make something for yourself and your son. You know, this text is just, it's sad. You're talking about a widow in dire situation, but this text is also very straight. You have the prophet of God, not just a false prophet, but you have the prophet Elijah asking this widow to give of her last. I mean, what? why would he ask her to do such a crazy, hard thing? Let's pray. Father, thank you. Right now in front of all these people, God, I just reminded of just how loved I am. But not just for me, God, I pray right now that you will remind every single person underneath the sound of my voice how loved and how treasured and how known and how seen, God, they are by you. I am praying, God, that you would let them know that you know the details of their lives, that they may be going through a hard time, a hard season, but that you're with them and that you're for them. God, what a privilege it is to get to speak to your people. You know I don't take it lightly. And God, I thank you for it. And God, I'm asking for a special favor. I am. I pray with all the Mother's Day meals, Lord God, loaded with carbs and calories, I pray that you will remove those calories and that you will remove those carbs, but don't remove the taste. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. High five somebody. Tell them today's going to be good. I'll high five myself. Today is going to be good. Today 